Hello everyone, welcome. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to enable resizable bar on NVIDIA's graphic card which dropped just yesterday and I had to do a lot of research myself to see how I should be doing this to be safe so I'm uploading this video so you don't have to do the same thing and hopefully it can be helpful for you too. So I'm going to put all the resources or all the websites that I'm using uh, in the description just in case you have the same exact system or whatever, but the system that I have is AMD 5600X, which doesn't really matter for our case, just that my CPU is compatible. But what matters is that my graphics card is Eris uh, Extreme 3080, and my motherboard is X570 Elite. So the first thing, you probably want to go, go to the NVIDIA website, and make sure that your CPU and your motherboards are compatible. Now, if you don't want to go there, I'm going to bring the screens up. You can pause the video whenever you want and look at the slide and see if you have the required uh, motherboard and CPU. So you have the Intel CPUs, you have the AMD CPUs, and I have a 5600X, so I'm good to go. And for motherboards, as you can see here, uh, ASUS, Azra, Colorful, Evja, Gigabyte, and MSI are all supported, but you need to know the exact model of your motherboard because you will be downloading some BIOS update. Here is how resizable bar, how much performance it's going to give you, uh, like Assassin's Creed Valhalla, about 10%. I'm actually going to be uploading another video. I'm going to leave the link of that video in the description as well, so you can see if it's going to matter or not, but this one is at 1440p, with 5950X uh, Ryzen 9, 32 GB of RAM, and NVIDIA RTX 3080. And these are the list of the games that is supported as of March 30th that the uh, update dropped. So here are the steps. First of all, make sure that your CPU is compatible, your motherboard is compatible. Then you have to do a BIOS update on your motherboard if you don't have the required version that has a resizable bar enabled. So it could be that if you've got a new system, it could be that your motherboard's version, uh, the device version on your motherboard actually supports resizable bar already. So what you want to do is to go to the website of your motherboard, probably some, I'm guessing that most of them are going to be under support and check out the BIOS versions and see which of them has resizable bar enabled. So for example, for my case, uh, and also if you want to check your uh, BIOS version, you can click on Windows plus R key and run the command MSI info 32, and you can find your uh, BIOS version right here. So for example, for me, it's F31E. And interestingly enough, I can't actually see it here. So I have F30 and F32, so it's probably a bias that they pulled out. But F32, at resize, resizable bar option for AMD Smart Access Memory and F33G. Now, because this one is the latest one, I'm going to go, for example, and download this one. So if you don't have the required bias version that supports resizable bar, you have to download a version that does support it. And let's see what else you got to do. So I'm going to go over each item one at a time. So let's first deal with update the motherboard bias. So I've downloaded this guy. Now what you need to do is that put this to put the bias update on your flash drive. Now what you need to do is to make sure that your USB is FAT32 format. So if you're not sure, just click on format. And if it's an empty USB, just uh, it's safer to have an uh, all free USB. Put the file system at FAT32 and do a quick format. And then when you get here, download the BIOS version and extract all the files, say here. And yes, do all. Extract it here. And I'm going to delete this guy. I have a copy in my downloads folder. And that's it. Your USB flash drive is ready to go. I have looked at some other places that there are some applications that run the BIOS update from Windows and almost everyone is saying, hey, don't do it. It's not a really good idea. It's better to use a Q flash of the BIOS itself. 
So I'm going to go ahead, restart the computer and show you how to do the upgrade from the BIOS setting itself. And I'm going to be recording with my camera. So apologies if the quality of the sound drop. Let's go ahead, start a computer and get the BIOS update. Hey again guys, so my system is getting restarted, but while that one is happening, so you need to keep pressing delete to go to the BIOS setting, but just a heads up, if you happen to have uh, X570 uh, Elite, Elite and Elite Wi-Fi have different versions, so I actually put the wrong one in my flash drive, so I had to go back and fix that. Anyway, given that you have downloaded the right files, you want to go to, when you get to your BIOS settings, you want to go to QFlash or F8 in my case. Then in the new screen, go click on the BIOS update. And these are a bunch of items here. These are all my drivers. Flips is my USB and you can see the file right here. So if you click on that, click next. Are you sure you want to update BIOS? Yes. And verifying file, press to start, updating bias so we should be good to go and you can see on the left side of the monitor all the the old version and the new version and what's happening okay here we are almost finished it took me some time to get all the bias update now my system is restarting there's one step left to do and it could be a little bit different for your motherboard than mine. But the system is making some weird noises, but don't worry, it's gonna come up. There we go. Now, you need to go to, where is advanced mode or F2. When you go to your settings, it could be right here because from what I can see, it. You know, you got to look up your motherboard and it could be different. But for me, under settings, under IO ports, there are two things that you need to change. For me, is that above 4G decoding, this guy should change into enabled. And resize bar support is going to go to auto. There's one more thing to do. You need to uh, disable the CSM support. So you go to boot, CSM support for me is already disabled, so that's all good. And now all you need to do is to do save and exit and save and exit setup. Okay, so we are back on Windows after the BIOS update. So step three is done. Now, step four is to update to the latest GeForce game ready driver. I've already done this one because GeForce experienced the moment I uh, opened my Windows last time before starting recording, it updated and I did the update that way, but you can just go to NVIDIA website here. I will leave this link for you. So you can click on this link here and go download the driver and do the update. That one is pretty easy. I think you probably have done it quite a few times. Now, step five is kind of the confusing one here, but it's pretty easy at the same time. If you have 3060, you're good to go. If you have 3060 Ti, 70, 80, or 90, you need to update your V bias. Now, if you have NVIDIA Founders Edition, they have their links here. If not, you have to scroll all the way down here, VBIOS update, and all the IAB partners are here. Now for me, it's uh, Gigabyte because it's RS, so I go to their own website. I'm gonna leave this link just in case someone has the same RS GeForce uh, Extreme. Now, here's the funny thing that was a bit confusing for me and it kind of took me some try and error to find which one to use. You have F6, F11, and F21 all release at the same date, March 29th. And this one says for F20 BIOS, for F10 BIOS, and for F1 to 5 BIOS flash. But none of them are F30, which is what I use. So I downloaded one at a time, and the one that worked for me was F6. So you might have to do a bit of a trial and error there. 
Now, if you have extreme version, you will notice that you have two files in here. Now, if you look at the readme file, the one that ends with L is for overclocking bias, and the one that ends with A is for the silent bias. Now, as you know, the, uh, the extreme version has a switch on the graphic card that you can switch between overclocking and silent mode. I left it as the default, which is the overclocking, so I'm going to go to the file name that ends with L, and you run the .exe file, and you will see, are you sure you want to update your graphics bias? So I'm going to click yes, and this guy is going to pop up begin in three seconds. Okay, after clicking yes, uh, my monitor started flickering and start, it stopped the recording by itself, but it took just a few seconds to update the uh, vBIOS and all left to do is to hope and verify that resizable bar is active. So you go to somewhere on your desktop, click on NVIDIA control panel on the new uh, page bottom left corner, system information, and voila, resizable bar enabled. So you are good to go. I hope the video helped you. I will be checking if enabling resizable bar is going to do any good for us or not. I'll leave the link of that video in the description as well. So you can check the performance of two of the games, Assassin's Creed Valhalla and Horizon Zero Dawn after enabling the resizable bar. Again, I hope that this video helped you and please don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. It would be much appreciated. And this is a gaming channel, but I thought that this could help some people out. And I guess I'll be back with more games instead of these videos, but catch you on the next one. Take care, everyone. Bye.